Every one in 700 babies is born with a cleft. That means there is an opening between the mouth and the nose. And these babies struggle a lot at the beginning with feeding. And also we as a surgeons, we struggle because it is wide and difficult to close. So actually we know what would help. It is a plate just to bridge the gap, to take the tongue out of this cleft. But it's quite challenging. You need a lot of resources, persons who do it, and technicians. So the vision three years ago was clear to facilitate this treatment with new technologies. And that was when I approached Botnar Research Center with this idea of a automated way to fabricate these plates, to give also something at hand in remote places to facilitate the early treatment. Now today I saw three years later how much forward we have taken this story. I saw the first patient that we were able to treat with such an automated plate. Baby arrived here in Jenai, in Rainbow Hospital, and an optical impression was taken from the mouse. And just at ETH in Zurich, in Switzerland, we used the automated algorithm to design the shape just by the help of the computer graphic knowledge and the algorithms, AI. This plate was designed and just printed here in Chennai and given to the parents. And three months later, the cleft has coming down, is now more narrower, and four weeks ago, this patient has been operated. Savita University Cleft Center, how they managed with this new algorithm, with this automated plate fabrication. So we saw the first patient being treated. It was so important to see the patient today with the parents to get the direct feedback of if, if it makes sense what we had as a vision. And it was touching to hear that actually we achieved a lot more than we intended because apparently feeding was easier and the baby gained very much weight before surgery. And parents were very satisfied with this new technology. To hear that actually they were capable to use the plate very easily was an important feedback for us and that only one plate was sufficient to get this change before surgery. So we are very motivated to go for the next step forward in this treatment change.